Hello! Welcome to Module 15 of Setting Up a Journal with OJS 3.0, Custom Blocks with Plugins. We covered content blocks initially in Module 8, Unit 1, Website Appearance, and talked specifically about the Information Content Block in Module 8, Unit 2. The content blocks are content elements that appear in the side navigation menu on your journal website. OJS 3.0 comes equipped with seven different sidebar content blocks, but you can create custom blocks if you need them by using the custom block plugin. To activate this plugin, log into the dashboard using the link in the top right corner of your journal homepage. Hover over Settings in the left hand navigation and select Website. In the new frame, click on Plugins from the tabs along the top of the frame. The Custom Block Manager plugin is an installed plugin, and it can be found on this main page, either by using the search bar or by scrolling down to the generic plugins until you see it. To activate this plugin, tick the box. An expansion arrow will now be visible beside the name of the plugin. Click on it to expose the Manage Custom Blocks link. To add a block, click on Add Block. Give the block a name and input the content. When you're satisfied, click Save. The new block will now appear in the Custom Blocks table. Click on the expansion arrow to expose the Edit and Delete buttons. Close the wizard by clicking on the X in the top right corner. Let's look at Website Appearance Settings and see our new block. You can see our new block has been added to the top of the sidebar, and it, that it's been annotated to indicate that it is a custom block. To change its placement in the sidebar, drag and drop the block to your preferred location. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save. Now let's take a look at how the block looks on our sidebar. Click on View Site at the top of the dashboard. Our custom block is there in our sidebar, ready to be used by our readers. And that concludes our overview of the Custom Blocks plugin. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next module.